in. But in today's Focus on Your Health, Teresa Snow shows us a man who hasn't let cancer keep him out of the limelight. Focus on Your Health is sponsored by MU Healthcare. Over the past 30 years, the death rate for mouth and throat cancers has been dropping, meaning many more survivors will enjoy their lives, whether behind the scenes or in the spotlight. Steve Stockman spends his days with circuit breakers, but at night, this electrician turns up the voltage on stage. It's fun sometimes to just pick a song that you've never sang before and, and get up in, in front of people and, and give it a try. But it wasn't long ago that Steve thought his days singing karaoke were over. I was shaving and um, I noticed a, a lump here on the side of my throat. At University of Missouri Healthcare's Ellis Fischel Cancer Center, Dr. Laura Dooley made the difficult diagnosis. He had oral pharyngeal tonsil squamous cell carcinoma. It's a type of throat cancer that was hiding in Steve's tonsil, typically caused by smoking, drinking, or HPV, the human papillomavirus. The plan was surgery followed by radiation putting his karaoke on hold. It changes the characteristics of your voice if you change that resonance frequency a little bit. Steve, though, didn't need to worry. Within six months, the microphone was back in his hand. Hour to hour, day to day, one foot in front of the other, and you'll get through it. His performance inspiring others. Joining me now is Dr. Laura Dooley, an ear, nose, and throat physician here at MU Healthcare. Now, I understand Steve actually gave you something to play in the operating room. He did. He was very concerned that surgery or any of his treatment was going to affect his voice. So um, he recorded with his son a couple songs for us to play. He's fortunate to still have a nice voice. <laughs> he does. Tell me about the team. This is a complicated surgery, and it takes quite a few different team members to pull it off. We have a very large team at, here at Ellis Fischel, um, and we work with a huge group of people to help take care of um, our patients, anywhere from our speech and language pathologists, our nutritionists, our um, nurse navigators. We have a great radiation, head neck radiation oncologist and medical oncologist that help with um, providing immunotherapies and chemotherapies um, as your cancer needs. Um, and then we also have a pretty good surgeon team as well. What's your role? That's more my role, yes. I'm more of the surgeon that takes out the tumor and then we do have another reconstructive surgeon that's in our department that comes in and helps reconstruct to give back the best quality of life and function as well as um, quality of life. Good. We're glad you're here. Well, thank, thank you very you. much. Me too. With Focus on Your Health, I'm Teresa Snow. Focus on Your Health has been sponsored by MU 